Hello, beautiful people. Samson Williams here uh, with Axes and Eggs. I had to write this out because I have a business call tomorrow to um, pitch a potential client on the triangle financing method. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do a video of this. So I did one before, it was a little bit long, so we're gonna do this in under about six minutes. So, first and foremost, uh, if you're on the phone call because you're thinking about doing equity crowdfunding because you've said, hey, Samson, we're a startup, we're an established business, we need to fund our business. How do we do this? The VCs are predatory, the banks are telling us no. Uh, that's a typical problem with our challenge that startups and small businesses face. How do they get funding to fund their business? Well, we introduced them to the triangle financing method, which is really an interesting take on equity crowdfunding. Equity crowdfunding uh, is made courtesy of the JOBS Act. The JOBS Act became legal in May of 2016. And this is where retail customers can become investors. So this is the key point about that. Remember to say that. Retail customers can invest in your business. Also with uh, the JOBS Act, you, your business or startup can raise up to $1,070,000 each 12 months. Now we've got the basis, let's talk about when we say triangle finance, what does that mean? So we make a quick triangle, you can do this at home if you're following along. Um, customers. So customers are at your base. On the other leg of here is sales. Right? Sales are super important because sales generate this amazing thing called revenue. There's no capital in the world quite like revenue. And revenue solves all kinds of business and startup challenges. The other side here is brand. Here's where the triangle financing method actually comes in. So when you're a startup, uh, when you're a business, you're already spending money on sales. Sales, marketing, advertising, AdWords, uh, business dev, those all fall underneath here because you actually want to create revenue. Right? You want to create revenue. Question is, for your organization, on your piece of paper, write down how much do you spend on in a three or six month period on sales, generating sales to generate revenue. Write that down. Probably around $60,000 of your startup. Brand. Brand is why are we buying you? So some folks uh, are in these with, right? We got a great little brand. I buy their stuff. And so brand is how you actually lower your customer acquisition cost. I'm gonna write this here. Your customer acquisition acquisition cost, also known as your CAC. So every year, um, Uber, they spend around $6 billion in customer acquisitions. Why? Because it's zero loyalty. Because Uber, Uber customers have no incentive to be uh, loyal. As soon as someone else comes out with a cheaper ride, ride sharing app, deuces, they're out. So your brand, you're spending $60,000 as the minimum on a startup on your brand. That's actually just one conference. If you doubt this, go do a pitch or send your um, startup or your business to South by Southwest uh, Consensus or any of the big uh, conferences. It's literally one conference. So you already have around $60,000 sunk here. On your customers, this is point number three, equity crowdfunding, and crowdfunding is, equity crowdfunding works just like Shark Tank, I meant to say that to begin with. If you've ever seen Mr. Wonderful, Mark Cuban, they, the businesses come up, they give them a pitch and they decide that they want to invest. So equity crowdfunding is where your retail customers, these guys, your retail customers can be your investors. Why would you want that to happen? Very simpler. Simple. When you have customers who are already driving sales, creating revenue, improving your brand, and lowering your customer acquisition costs, when you have customers who are invested in your business, all of a sudden you have customer loyalty, crazy customer loyalty. Uh, let's say your Ballywick, right? So I spend, they already know how much I spend every year on Ballywick, buying the hats and the t-shirts. So if we already know how much as a customer you generate in sales, have I ever offered you a piece of my business? Let's say, you're looking to raise um, $1 million for 10% of your company. It means your company has a, 
has a valuation of uh, $10 million. And so let's say you get uh, 2,100 customers who invest uh, 560 bucks each. So that brings you up to your magical $1,070,000. And this is where triangle financing really holds its own because you already are spending money on sales, marketing, advertising, biz dev, etc. You're already spending money on branding, uh, building your brand, going to conferences, chalkies, etc. You never until May 16th of 2016, through equity crowdfunding, been able to offer your customers an opportunity to invest any amount of money. So uh, if you have 2,000 investors who are invested in your business, let's say your app business, you have 2,000 people who are helping you with sales. Why? Because they know every hat they sell, every hat they help sell, every big commission or every big deal they help bring to you, they make a nickel. Let's say they make a penny. They have skin in the game. And so when you think about the triangle financing method, it's not just about crowdfunding. Because this bottom right here, this is actually just crowdfunding, right? This is crowdfunding. Because crowdfunding is that mechanism by which you get customer loyalty. And you want your customers to be loyal because what's your lifetime value of your customer, your uh, LTV? Pause, then what's your lifetime value of a customer when they're also an investor? Because if you get a, a hedge fund or a VC or an angel, and an angel gives you $10 million or a VC fund gives you $10 million, I'm sorry, they invest $10 million in you, you're going to actually spend 40 to 60% on that on sales and branding to get customers. So if you're going to already receive $10 million from a VC to turn around and spend four to $6 million on sales and branding, but still have zero customer loyalty, that's a flawed model. This is why the triangle financing method is different. We want to flip it around. We want to take your customers, your retail customers, and make them investors. And so is it perfect for every business? No. Is it perfect for your business? Maybe. Particularly if you're a small business like Ballywick who makes these hats, um, who has a loyal customer base, or rather, who has a customer base that could be loyal because you've never had the opportunity to incentivize them to be loyal before. So that's the triangle financing method. We're going to continue to refine this. It's still brand new. Uh, it hasn't been proven, the, the triangle financing method hasn't been proven, but we know you're spending money on sales, you're spending money on branding. Let's make your customers loyal. Uh, crowdfunding under Reg CF, our business model, we charge 50K plus 2.5% equity. So some people are like, oh, that's too much. Why? That's crazy. Trust me, let's have a conversation, shoot me an email, we can talk about this. Why that's pretty reasonable, particularly compared to the predatory terms that the VCs and angels will, will ask from you. And of course, the banks are just ignoring you, so we'll just, they're not even part of the equation. Anyway, my name is Samson Williams. Thanks for helping me uh, think this out. Uh, this is the Triangle Financing Method by Axes and Eggs. Uh, my email is samson at axesandeggs.com. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I will let you know how our sales call goes tomorrow because we're pretty sure we're going to crush this because we've been working on refining this methodology over the last three years. Um, and now that we're past the bullshit of the unregistered illegal ICOs, STOs, we can actually start working with legitimate businesses, our people who want to form and raise money for legitimate businesses. So. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing and stay awesome. Peace.